Welcome to my channel, All for Health with Jane. Family, we are on the last lap of a trial within a trial in the sense of a Iwamera trial. After Advocate Baloy has made a long submission to the court, Advocate Mgomezulu was given an opportunity to oppose and contest what was presented by the state Advocate Baloy. In the introduction of uh, the defense advocate Mkomezulu, he spent the first part of his presentation reporting to the court what happened from the time the accused were arrested until the alleged confession statements were signed. Advocate Mkomezulu related to this without arguing until they went for an adjournment. After the adjournment, that's when I started hearing Advocate Mgomezulu starting to show his argument by questioning the qualifications of people who took the confession statements if they were qualified justices of peace to take the confession statements, whether they had the power to take those confession statements, whether they were the right people to do that. The defense said the reason they are arguing this is because these officials who conducted the confession statement did not reveal their appointment certificates to the court to indicate they were the rightful people to take those confessions. Another point the defense argued was that the accused were unlawfully and wrongfully arrested. Coming to the accused being wrongfully and unlawfully arrested, one would ask that, what is it the defense is challenging here? Do they challenge uh, the arrest or do they challenge the signing of the confession statement? This is so confusing, family. According to my understanding, questioning the arrest would be more relevant in the main trial. But however, family, in the comment section, please correct me in case you do not agree with me. I thought the focus now should be more on the making and the signing of the confession statement. The statement that uh, 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 was it done freely and voluntarily, uh, the defense theirs is to prove why they say it was not done freely and voluntarily. Family, for me, arguing the arrest at this point in time, I don't think it's going to help that much. But let's talk about it in the comment section. Family, one last thing that I had the defense arguing was that of the performer that was signed by Magistrate Kuronye. Uh, according to that defense, the last page of that performer was not signed and the defense was not satisfied about that. And furthermore, they spoke about the number of police who were there who, according to Advocate Mgomezulu, they made scared uh, uh, Magistrate Kronye. But I remember on one of, of uh, the clips, Advocate Mgomezulu, when asking... Uh, Magistrate Kronye, were you scared? Ma Magistrate said, no, I wasn't. But now later, Magistrate uh, 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 Advocate Mkomezulu said, if the, those people could scare the Magistrate, what about an accused? I will look for that clip, and then maybe in my next um, video, I will attach that clip so that we speak about it. Family, let's listen to Advocate Mgomezulu as he is doing his uh, presentation. Without wasting the court's time, we want to look at how accused number one was arrested on the strength of a J-50. It is the submission by this defense that <clears throat> When an application was brought, there's no evidence before this court as to how was that application. <clears throat> as when that evidence is compared to the evidence of Prikadia Gininda, 
who told this honorable court that <clears throat> he brought an application in Boxback Magistrate Court. In relation to evidence by Sergeant Mkhola, firstly, Sergeant Mkhola is not a commissioned officer. Section 43 deals with procedure to bring an application before a magistrate or justice for a warrant of arrest of a particular suspect. <clears throat> the persons entrusted <clears throat> or <clears throat> empowered, sorry my lord, to make such an application is the commissioned officer or the state prosecutor. <clears throat> the investigating officer, <clears throat> if he, he or she is, is not a commissioned officer, cannot bring an application before a magistrate. <clears throat> that is that proposition is, and the support of Section 43 <clears throat> is uh, cited in Maposa versus the Minister of Police. My Lord, I think the full citation is on my head. Mm -hmm. But there, in that case, we have It's a civil suit against the Minister of Police in that the, the plaintiff in that matter averted that <clears throat> he was unlawfully and wrongfully arrested on the strength of a J-50. On the facts of that case, to support the principle is that <clears throat> Warrant Officer Conradi, Comradi prepared an affidavit in support of the application and the application was brought by a commissioned officer, Colonel Wenzel. So in my submission is that in the absence of this of evidence by, from the state side to suggest that a proper application was brought that warranted to deprive the liberty of accused number one is that that J50 upon which accused number one was arrested on its strength was illegitimate. Hence, the defense will move a submission that <clears throat> it was an irregular process to arrest accused number one on the 30th of May 2020. <clears throat> on the arrest of accused number one, on the 19th of March 2019, he was arrested <clears throat> without a warrant of arrest. And the provisions of Section 40, one, I think, subsection B, are applicable, subject to confirmation, my lord. But the importance and the significance of that evidence is that, firstly, <coughs> the state did not contest that accused number one was arrested on the, on the 19th of March 2019. <coughs> to move forward in what actually transpired 
the defense will submit and argue that Colonel Mbot, in terms of Section 217.1a of the Criminal Procedure Act, <coughs> had no, this is what the defense will submit, that he, in terms of his rank, he is a commissioned <coughs> officer. <coughs> and this has been <coughs> put to Brigadier Kininda when he testified as the head of the investigation that There is a certificate which is issued for a person to be a justice of the peace. It's an A4 size certificate. And in terms of section 217, 1A, confession made before a non-judicial officer. That provision relates to a confession to be taken before a magistrate. And the question of law is who is the justice of the peace in terms of that provision? It is apparently clear that the powers conferred to the appointment of the Justice of Peace are provided or prescribed under Section 334 of the Criminal Procedure Act, <clears throat> whereby it is stated that the National Commissioner is the one who appoints a Justice of the Peace on various districts. And it also, that provision, Section 334, one, <clears throat> and other relevant provisions deals with specific matters to be taken to a justice of the peace. There's no amendment of section 217 1A that is prescribed to include all the kennels as justices of the peace because of their ranks. That's my submission that <clears throat> before this honorable court, it has not been proven by the state that Kennel Mboto produced that certificate and proved that he was the justice of the peace. Same applies to Colonel Rapatu. <clears throat> Colonel Rapatu, when I came on board, I conversed this aspect with him during cross-examination. He took out an appointment certificate and said he was appointed by Ria Piecha, the National Commission. That's not what is required. That's the submission of the defense.
family now i think i would feel much better if uh, uh, maybe the defense emphasized for example more on when the accused signed in front of rapadu who is mopedi rapadu ke mopedi obviously and and uh, he signed in front of him without any interpreter obviously the accused being a zulu signing in front of a person who is mopedi there should be a language barrier there I still remember when Advocate Mishololo wanted a, a Rapadu to say some words in Isizulu. She asked him to speak in Isizulu. You could hear that that the Rapadu doesn't know Isizulu at all. So those are one of the things that I would like to hear the defense, you know, arguing about. Um on top of this accused people being uh, tortured being tormented being coerced in doing this being chubbed you know all those i would like to hear them emphasize on this point to say a, a baby making a zulu person who doesn't know soto at all to sign in front of obviously there was you know some barrier there Family, let's meet in the comment section. Thank you very much for watching this video to the end. Please like it before you leave. Subscribe for my channel if you haven't done so yet, family. I thank you so much. Thank you for your support. I love you. Bye.